What is going on, beautiful people? I am Lee Hammock, the diagnosed self-aware narcissist known as Mental Illness, and welcome to another episode of A Narcissist Explains, short edition. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about narcissistic parents, the scapegoat child, and the golden child. Stay tuned. Thank you so much. I'm no contact with my family, and the reason that I chose to go no contact with my family is because I'm the scapegoat in a narcissist family system. If you know, you know. If you don't, I guess Google. But when I first went no contact with my parents, I was still talking to my siblings. And I noticed after a while of me being no contact that the way that my siblings were describing my narcissist parent slowly started to change. All of a sudden, they saw him the way I saw him. They were telling me how bad he was and how awful things had gotten in the house. And based on the stories, it, it was bad. Well, today I learned something that made all of that make the fuck sense. Turns out that when you're the scapegoat, the narcissist uses you to keep it all together. You are how they emotionally regulate themselves. By concentrating their negativity on you, it doesn't go flying everywhere and other people can't see it, just you. Which means when you leave, there's no one there to absorb that negativity. And the narc has to find a new scapegoat. And everyone who didn't believe you is about to learn. So there was a wonderful creator right there. Her name is Black Magic. I'm going to put it right here so y'all can see it. Y'all can follow her on all platforms. But you can see she said she got out of a narcissistic family dynamic. She had no contact with her parents and also her siblings. And once she got out of there, she left because she was the scapegoat child. She got all the blame. She was used to emotionally regulate her narcissistic parent, her father or whatnot. You know, so she got blamed for every single thing that went wrong in their parent's life and things like that. She became the reason that parent, um, you know, he was just, just treat. It was intentionally treating her terribly until she got old enough, removed him, removed him and the mom, I guess, from the life. But she said she said she was still talking to the siblings and the siblings started noticing the change, too. And they started to believe the things that she would say, because a lot of times narcissistic parents will pit will, will pit the siblings against each other, will turn the siblings on each other, make them compete for the, the, the love of the narcissistic person. But if you have the scapegoat child, you will never, ever get the complete full love of that narcissistic parent. You just won't. You'll be competing to the end of time. You know what I mean? The golden child is going to get all the praise and adoration and things like that. But the scapegoat is going to get, you know, pretty much used, abused and treated terribly. But she said, once you, once you remove yourself, other people, the other your siblings will start to see that parent for who they are because they no longer have the scapegoat there to treat terribly. So now they, you know, this, the golden children start to kind of get the scapegoat a little bit. They start to kind of get blamed and things as well. So people, you know, the narcissistic person can't tip the narcissistic parent typically, typically can't hold up the act for a very, very extended period of time. So once you remove yourself, you know, I'm not telling you to go no contact with your parents because that's a very, very hard thing to do because sometimes just like in this situation, not only do you have to go no contact with the toxic parent, you have to go to go no contact with the other parent who who might look like an enabler and then you have to go no contact with the siblings as well so you pretty much and sometimes your whole family so you're pretty much going off on an island of no contact by yourself to protect your peace and to protect your sanity possibly but yeah stay, stay, stay cutting off a toxic parent is a tough thing to do y'all i'm like i said i keep these things short and sweet to the point thank y'all for tuning in like and subscribe for more mental illness is out peace